Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In today's video I'm showing you how to make it so the progress bar will fill up and go down nice and smoothly so instead of just going straight up or straight down in kind of a block form it'll be a nice smooth transition there. So let me show you what I mean. So normally what you do is you'd set it and it would just go immediately up and down but today again we're going to have it nice and smooth. So you can see I've set up a stamina bar here at the moment it's just 45 out of 100. If I start to run you can see it's going down nice and smooth and if I stop it's going to go up like this. So this is what we make today, as you can see it looks a lot better, it just looks a little bit nicer, something different just so it isn't again just straight linear, very blocky as it normally is by default. So this is a very simple process of what we're going to be doing today. So without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing you want is you want to make sure that you've obviously got all of this progress bar set up in your widget. So this isn't actually filling and draining it, this is just having it set up. So I'll show you what I've got at the moment. So I've just simply got this progress bar here which has stamina written above it. And I've created a binding for this progress bar where I'm simply just getting my stamina and dividing that by my max stamina as that is what I want. I want this to be stamina. But again you could have this as whatever you want to fill it in as this value here. Divide by the maximum amount it can be or just divide by 100. If you want another video of setting this up I do have some which I'll link in the description down below and on screen now. But I can also do another one if you want. So this is what I have, very simple stamina progress bar set up to put on screen. Now what we're going to do is set up actually filling and draining this in a nice smooth fashion. So to do that, because I'm doing it stamina, I'm going to do this in my character blueprint, but you can do this in whatever blueprint you want. Again for me that's going to be the third person character. In here I already have my sprinting set up as well, so when I press left shift it's going to go to 1200, when I release it the walking speed is going to go back to 600. Just a nice easy way of telling that I am sprinting. And as you can see as well, I already have my stamina and max stamina float variables set up here. Stamina default value 45, max as 100. So again, today I'm not going over setting up sprinting and a stamina system. I'm just showing you how to drain and regen a progress bar nice and smoothly. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create a custom event function in order to drain this progress bar, which for me, I'm just going to call drain stamina. So I'm going to right click and add a custom event, naming this drain stamina. And this is where we're going to be draining the variable inputted into our progress bar. So what I'm going to do is hold down B and left click to get a condition. And I'm going to create a new variable, naming this should drain, question mark, leaving it as a boolean. That being the condition of the branch. Because what we're going to do is, again, we're not just going to simply set the variable to be something lower. What we're doing is we're going to create this as a loop, which you would normally do for stamina as well. But you want to do this for whatever it is that you're draining. False of this, we're not going to do anything because that's going to break the loop because we don't want to continue draining. True, we're going to lower the value. So again, for me, that's stamina. So I'm going to set the stamina there, connecting that into true. And what I want to do for this is get the stamina here. So get stamina. Out of this, I'm going to get a float minus a float. And the key to making this look nice and smooth is we want to make sure that we decrease it in small amounts, but quickly. So that way it looks nice and smooth because it's going down in little amounts but quite quick. So it's just a nice smooth way of going left and right or filling and draining. So what I'm going to do is set it to 0.5. Now you can set this to whatever you want. Obviously the lower the amount, the quicker it will drain, the higher the amount, the less it will drain. And obviously again, the lower it is, the smoother it will look. So set this to be whatever you like. I'm going to set it to 0.5. And this is then going to go into a clamp float and that's so it's not going to go below a certain value which we set which for me is obviously going to be zero i don't want it to go below zero so minimum we'll leave it zero and maximum i'm just going to put as max stamina you can put as whatever you want you can put as 100 or whatever you want and then return value of that is going to go into the set stamina there so that's now going to perfectly drain our stamina by 0 0.5 going down to a minimum of zero but that's only going to do it once because we do need to set this into a loop so to check for when we want to stop we're going to come out of stamina here, get an equal equal float, leaving it as zero. So if the stamina is equal to zero, we want to stop draining it. So we're going to hold down B, left click to put that into a branch, with obviously that being the condition. And true is going to stop draining the stamina. So what I'm going to do is set should drain to false. And it's as simple as that. That's now going to stop this loop, so stop us from draining it. Now because this is a sprinting system, what I'm also going to do is set the max walk speed back to my walking value. So out of the character movement, for me that's going to be 600. Again, I'm only doing that because this is a system for sprinting and stamina. Do this for whatever you like. And off of false of this branch, so if we haven't reached zero, what we want to do is we want to continue this loop. 
So we're going to hold down D, left click to get a delay, connecting that to false. But the duration for me is going to be 0.01. Now again, set this to whatever you like. The higher the duration, the longer it's going to take to drain the stamina or drain this variable and this value, but again, the less smooth it will be. The lower it is, the quicker it will be, and the smoother. So again, lower values equal smoother and quicker, higher values equal longer and less smooth. And completed is going to call function drain stamina, like so. So I'll give you a quick overview of this again. When we call this function, if should drain is true, we're going to be causing a loop to just slowly decrease our stamina by small decrements each time to make it look nice and smooth until we either reach the bottom value and we set should drain to false or we set should drain to false somewhere else because again that will cancel the loop here. So that's draining the value and the variable in the progress bar. Now we also need to gain it or increase it or regenerate it. So I'm going to right click under here, add a custom event and do a very similar process. This one I'm going to call regain stamina as again that is what I'm doing in this system. So again it's a very similar method. I'm going to hold down B, left click to get a branch. Again starting off with should drain because obviously we don't want to be regening this and increasing it if we also want to decrease it. So if we want to decrease it then we're going to stop this. So false is going to go into another branch so hold down B left click connecting it to false but the condition of this one is going to see if we have reached the maximum amount of stamina or this variable we want to add on. So this isn't as necessary for a stamina system but I'm showing you it anyway because in other systems where you want to increase it to a certain amount or decrease it to a certain amount this is perfect. So again to make sure it decreases to a certain amount you change this minimum value in the clamp and the value in this equal equal. To increase it to a certain amount we're going to create a new variable naming this one desired stamina making sure this is a float as well like so I'm going to compile that then we're going to get the stamina and out of this get an equal equal float connecting this into desired stamina so if the stamina is equal to the desired stamina connect that into the branch because again this branch is checking if that's true or false so we then know if stamina is the same as the desired stamina we can stop if it's not we want to keep increasing it and again we're also checking to see if or not we want to be draining it which again will cancel this all out so again true will be nothing because the stamina is already filled to the desired amount false it's not so we're going to increase it so we're going to set the stamina here connecting that into false of the branch and we're basically going to do the opposite of this so this was stamina minus we want to do stamina plus so what i'm going to do is actually select these Control c Control v just to make it a little bit quicker for us connecting the return value into the set stamina there all we need to do is delete the minus come out the stamina and, and change it to be a float plus a float and again i think i'm going to do it with 0.5 again change this to be whatever you want but i just want to increase it by 0.5 each time just because i think that's what looks best for me and then after this hold down d left click to get a delay for the duration again being what you want for me 0.01 and then out of the completed call function regen stamina to again create this into a nice loop which will just continually update and regen this variable for our progress bar until we either want to start draining it or we've reached the desired amount which we want to increase it to. Very similar to this, just basically doing the opposite of it. So that's going to work perfectly for us. Now we just need to set it up to actually call these functions and custom events for when we do want to drain and regen our progress bar. So again for me that's when I'm sprinting. So when I start sprinting, what I want to do is set should drain to true because I want to decrease the progress bar and then I want to call the function drain stamina. I'm telling it that I do want to decrease the progress bar and then telling it to actually do it. And then when I want to regen it, so when I stop sprinting, I need to tell the code that I don't want to drain the stamina anymore so I want to increase the progress bar, no longer draining it. And I also want to tell it where I want to increase it to. So again, you can change this value for how much you want to increase it to. For me, I'm just going to set it to 100 as that is the maximum amount for my stamina progress bar. But again, set this to whatever you want and you can obviously change this dependent on different things. So maybe the player gets an energy drink which gets you to 80 stamina or whatever it is for you again. And again, we're going to tell it to actually do this now. So we regen the stamina. So the top tells us we want to decrease it and then does decrease it. The bottom tells us we don't want to decrease it and we want to increase it to this amount and then it tells it to do that. So let's compile, save, and hit play. You can see it's at 45 out of 100. Obviously, we can just tell it to start regening off begin play, that will fix that. But I'm just leaving it as this to show you it working. If I start sprinting, you can see it's going down. 
and then if I let go and stop sprinting, it's going to go up again, and we can see it's working perfectly like this, draining and filling nice and smoothly like so, which again, I think just looks a little bit better than having it blocky as it was before. So I think that'll be it for this video, so we've done everything we want to do. We've set it up so the progress bar is going to decrease and increase nice and smoothly with a variable which we input, which again for me in this example is stamina and sprinting, but you can do this with absolutely whatever values that you want. So thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful, and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.